Welcome into <laughs> SWB. Happy yeah. Thursday evening and happy NFL Day. Lauren Leal, Jeff Michael, how excited are you? I'm stoked, as is every other red-blooded American in this country, I think. Uh, football's back. Football's Football is back. here. Football's we have, back. We have been waiting on this for months and months and months. And uh, look, fantasy football starts tonight. We got some fantasy football players that here at Christian's Tailgate. Here's some guy he's carrying a uh, blow-up doll because he came in last. So uh, <laughs> everybody knows what it's like to come in last in fantasy football. Well, not everybody. Including you? No, no. That's You've never I, come in last? <laughs> no, I have not. It sounds like you were speaking from experience. Like, oh, man, I've been there. We've all been there. Well, no, I mean, if you come in last place, it, it's interesting because every fantasy football group tries to come up with their, uh, you know, you want to you want to make it to where people don't tank. You know, you want to make it to where they're not being the uh, the Arizona Cardinals, if you will. No. <laughs> so, uh, and, a and team so, I'm going to bring up in a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, you want to make it fun. The last person, the person in last place. So they stay competitive throughout the season in fantasy football. So uh, last person has to do something crazy. There's look, just Google last place fantasy I'm football. Curious wow. This I, one dude, I, I heard what the th craziest. This was thing a pretty cool been. one. This one guy had to take route. He had. He had to do layo like I think it was he had to fly Southwest Airlines to 15 different cities in the United States. Why and is so, that bad? Because you layover after layover after layover. He had to go to airport to airport to airport. And that, I thought, was genius. Actually, that's kind of miserable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't come in last in that league. Uh, we're actually trying to come up with some of uh, – of what we're going to do this year for, for last place. Mm. So, And one of the ideas that we have is – the first place person gets to choose out of three different selections what the last place person gets to do. Okay. So, okay. That was well, good. then we they're going to make it super harsh because they're like, I'm number one. You suck. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So welcome into SWB here. <laughs> Sports like, with balls. Like Jeff said, uh, someone in here with a blow up doll. But there are some other peeps in the house because it is Thursday night football. We got some NFL action. Bam. No, no preseason is over. It is time. It is game time tonight. And I know that is one of the biggest headlines with. Kansas City, of course, at home. Detroit Lions, Jared Goff traveling there with his team. And first and foremost, Jeff, an outright pick amongst these two. Are you going confidently with Casey? No, not at because all. Because of Kelsey, huh? Yeah, so right before right. we came on air, driving into the driving into Christian's tailgate here, um, we heard the news that Travis Kelsey, after hyper extending his knee in practice on Tuesday, will be out of the lineup for the first time in a regular season game since 2014. Mm -hmm. 198 touchdowns thrown by Patrick Mahomes. 177 of them Travis Kelsey has been on the field for. Exactly. This is insane. It's insane. And I was looking at all of the passer ratings when it comes to Mahomes and uh, it just significantly decreases when Kelsey is not on the field. Yeah. No explosive, explosive plays, no dropbacks, um, just a lot of less attempts in general when Kelsey yeah. is not on the field. So that's really going to affect uh, Kansas City, but they're at home. They do have home field advantage. It's just an interesting one to go into the 2023-24 season. Yeah, so the line has moved from seven, I think it started, down to six, down to five. Now it sits, and this is for Caesar Sportsbook. The line sits at Kansas City minus four. Now, after the news of Kelsey going down, and look, I – I said earlier this morning, if you if go to Sports With Balls on all your social media platforms, I said this morning when I posted the video on what to bet for today, I liked the under because of this Travis Kelsey news. I realized that Pat Mahomes, is, I think he averages 34, 35 points per, uh, home, per first game of the NFL season, which is insane. But without Kelsey, your, your starting wide receivers are, are not that great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Marquez Valdez-Scantley. Kadarius Tony uh, and uh, a few other random players. Uh, I just, I, this is going to be an interesting football game. And of course, you got the Detroit Lions coming off the last ten games of their season last year, going eight and two, and surprising everybody. And they're they're the darlings of the NFL, if you will, right now. So, what's going to happen? Are they going to come out firing? Are they going to are they going to try to go into Detroit and upset uh, into Kansas City and upset this team? The under. Earlier this morning it was 54 points. It's now at 53 and a half. Okay. I just, I, I, I think the under. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you, I, I just, I think in order for Detroit to win this game, now that Kelsey's out, you got to keep the ball out of Mahomes' hands, right? So that, what do you do? You run the clock. Yeah. Run the ball. 
Run the ball. Which means less scoring. Go yeah. for the under. Yeah, Go so for the under. That, that's my prediction. Now, let me flip it back on you since you asked me. What do you think? Are you confident that the defending Super Bowl champions at home are going to win by four points or more? That's where I was going. Okay, defending Super Bowl chance, champs at home, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, I still have faith in this team. Um, granted, there is no Chris Jones uh, when Ooh. it comes to rushing the passer. There are a lot of missing elements. Um, you don't have Juju anymore. So there's a lot of different things that are missing out there, but I still have faith in Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid to come up with some great schemes. And I just think that Jared Goff, this may be an underlying proven year for him yep. in the Detroit Lions. Like you said, sneaky season last year, 8-2. and two. No one really expected that. And he's really shown up in Detroit ever since he was traded there. So it's it's been a good look for Jared Goff uh, being traded away from the Rams ever since he's been in Detroit. Let's see what he can do tonight. And I, I still think Kansas City slides by with a W. Ooh, really? Really. Uh, more than four points, though, because it's KC minus four. So are you taking Detroit plus the four points, or are you mm. riding KC minus four? Mm. KC minus four. KC minus four. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I, look, NFL could have done a better job lining this up. This game has tons of storylines. And if you see Pat Mahomes go out there tonight, which I hope he doesn't because I'm playing against him in two of my fantasy football leagues, so please. <laughs> I just think the implications of this game aren't as high, Jeff, because whenever I look at these guys and I look at uh, KC being out, Kel uh, Travis Kelsey being out because of his hyperextended knee, first off, it's not a tor it's not completely torn ACL or whatever it came back. Yeah, is. hyperextended it's, knee. Hyper it's, not, knee. It's, it's not torn. It's, yeah, it's not torn, so it's going to be a quick recovery, and I don't think it's going to showcase how the rest of the season is going to be, regardless if it's a you know not as explosive game yeah. from Mahomes or on the defensive unit. I hope it is because that has nothing to do with Patrick Mahomes. But I think that it's not an indication of how the rest of the season will go. Yeah, they, they're smart for holding him out because, look, it's they play on Thursday. It's a long week for them. They'll have a week and a half to get Kelsey back to normal, and it's a long season. If he's, Why would you even play him if he's 75%, right? The bigger, the bigger question that we haven't even brought, you said it one time so far, is this Chris Jones situation. Yeah. This is huge. He is a top three defensive tackle in the entire NFL. What happens? There's two situations here, right? Kansas City's either going to win or lose. Mm -hmm. What happens if they win and he's not in the lineup and the defense plays great? That ah, doesn't vote well for him. But if they lose, this guy could get his paycheck next week. <laughs> once again, once again, once again, I go back to it is week one. Just yep. like you, we talk about your favorites, if you will. If you're a Texans fan, if you're a Cowboys fan, if you're whoever fan, and they do amazing or they do awful, guess you what? It is week one. It's week one. Yep. We're getting to see these guys for the first time on the field because a lot of them do not play in preseason games. If so, a couple series, and that's it. So, you know, I, I, it's going to be fun to watch, but yes. yep. you can't plan out the entire season based on tonight. Just welcome saying. welcome into Sports with Balls. We're starting off on fire. We're, I see. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We're here at Christian's Tailgate, one of their four or five Houston area locations. If you can't make it up here for a drink and some food, uh, order them on Uber Eats. Their food is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to give me a taco after this. Oh, uh, so good. Their award-winning burgers, absolutely fantastic food. Also, new sponsor brought on, Hopas. Uh, Hopas. Washington Ho and Tony Busby, who's running for city council here in Houston. Uh, the this stuff is unbelievable. So if you don't drink alcohol, this is a THC infused drink. So look it up, hobuzzco.com, or give them a call. The number, everything's right here. Go try some Hobuzz if you're staying away from the uh, from the alcohol, yeah. which I am after Vegas. Good. Yes, I wanted to ask you about your <laughs> Vegas trip, Jeff, because, okay, as oh, far as Hobuzz goes, I was speaking with uh, one of the creators today on the phone, and he was saying that, you know, it's kind of all ages. It sold out really quick at yeah. one of the stores in West U, like yesterday. Um, and then also, like, and, and I'm talking about maybe the age range of, like, 25 to 38. And then the 60 to 65 range My mom drank is doing one. great. My mom drank What'd one. What your mom think? She loved it. Calmed her down. Absolutely loved it. Okay, well, absolutely how was Vegas? It. Let's get to the real She drank juice. one while I was in Vegas because she was taking care of my kids. She needed one. Okay, so. okay. How, how did... Uh, <laughs> 
How did Vegas Jason. treat you? I texted Jeff and I was like, Jeff, did Vegas win? <laughs> and you were, you said something like, yeah. it always wins yeah, or something. Yeah, Vegas did win. Uh, our producer, Jason. What's up, Jason? What's up, everybody? Uh, he had just uh, asked me right before. He said, how's Vegas? I said, well, um, <laughs> one person was arrested. <gasps> one person got kicked out. Two people got kicked out of the casino. Uh, one person did get married, legitimate marriage. Uh, knew the knew the knew the person for a few days. It's just um, like the movie. This just is, like the movie. This <laughs> is literally the Hangover. Oh I am my not even, gosh! I am not even kidding. I'm sitting in the airport on Sunday, and if you follow me on social media, I was like, "Get me out of here!" Like, <laughs> I was done. I and I landed on Friday. At, you know, we did, I thought you were way, going with all couples. Well, yeah, we did. Well, but not, one of them got married. Three again? single people, and one of them's married now. I <laughs> swear to God. So, <laughs> like, Vegas oh, definitely man. won. Unbelievable! Oh. It, it was. A did you win any bets? Yeah. Look. So I look. In matter of fact, I won two huge sports bets. What kept what kept me going on the table? Yeah, you which, won a big bet by not. Marrying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won huge in that aspect. So Good uh, call, Jason. Man, look, it, it was an interesting time. We, we've said uh, we said no Vegas again. I'm in the airport on Sunday. I just wanted to go home. I was so ready to get the hell out of there. Hey, it was, you, uh, you, were, you were prepping for that beach bot a lot on that Saturday pool day. How did that go? Look, it was fun. I was out at the pool for maybe two hours, so the, all the prep work <laughs> I did for that pool, uh, it was a blast. Look, the guys, the fantasy football owners and, and – and, team members know this like we do our draft in vegas and it's just so much fun there were other people there doing their drafts that same weekend there were guys walking around the casino and one this one guy was completely naked except for a cardboard box oh like it was God. unbelievable because he had gotten last the year before it was fun we we had a blast and uh look fantasy football starts in uh exactly one hour from right now so um Jeff, you know where to find him a couple weeks before the season starts in Vegas, yeah. and maybe his friends no. are getting married. <laughs> I don't know. He could be next. Yeah. And the funniest part was, I swear to God, because we're all in a group text. A lot of you guys are group text in fantasy football as well. Um, one of the guys that got kicked out of the casino, this is four or five days later. He's like, wait, what? Somebody got married? He had no idea. And he was there? <laughs> he was there. Well, he obviously was not there uh, mentally. Well, he was, yeah. He was, well, he was one of the guys that got kicked out. Uh, it there was you go. look, look, no harm, no foul. We had an absolute fantastic time, and we did we did Vegas like uh, like the movies, I guess. Yeah. So, there you go. Speaking of getting kicked out, how about getting kicked down? We talk about the Houston Astros putting a beating on the Texas wow. Rangers over the past couple of days, a sweep over the series and the Rangers in Dallas at Globe Life Field, but in addition to that, taking the first place in the AL West. I know a lot of people were obviously out on the Astros. Someone in my family is like, oh, if they lose, like, that's it. They're, they're, they're not getting to the, they're not getting the World Series again. But you gotta have faith, and you know what? They did it. Little Altuve is getting it done. Wow. I tell you what, three home runs in three innings, the first player in franchise history, I think, to have four home runs and six at-bats or something like that. It is just insane, insanity. And the Astros need to continue this role. And I feel like, Jeff, this is what they seem to do every time it gets this time of year. September, they hit, they they get it going. Yeah, so uh, Houston in general, and I, I think even sports writers, and a little bit myself and other people who creeped in, some doubt when the Houston Astros got swept by the New York Yankees at home, and we were all sort of, uh, I guess, just a little down on the Astros. And then they take a trip to Dallas. And there's not enough memes. There's not enough records. Like, it is unbelievable what they did. 16 home runs. For the, like, Altuve hit four home runs and five at-bats. Five at-bats, okay. He hit three home runs before. This is the craziest stat. He hit three home runs before the Rangers, 7, 8th, and ninth hitters had their first at bat. Wow. That's insane. The Texas Rangers, like as much as I want to sit here and say Houston Astros, wow, unbelievable. It's even crazier the downfall of the Texas Rangers, <laughs> who, <laughs> brutal, who were in first place almost the entire season. Seattle moved up there, and now, of course, the Astros are, are uh, playing very well, and they're, they're in first place now by a game. And they have the easier schedule of the three. I think the Rangers and the Mariners have to play each other seven of the last nine games. So it votes well for the Astros. They're playing very well. But the collapse of the Texas Rangers. And mind you, last night, 
Those home runs were off of Max Scherzer, former Cy Young winner. Uh, and, and it was a Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander matchup. Verlander obviously outdueled him. And the Houston Astros look absolutely fantastic right now. Rounding into shape, I, I, I really hope this, this gives them a nice little push into the playoffs, and we'll see what happens from there because the Atlanta Braves, the Baltimore Orioles, they both look absolutely, absolutely unbelievably good. So Astros have, have their work cut out for them, but, man, what, what, a, what, a, what a last few days for the Houston Astros. You know, it's only four games back whenever you think about it. I, think, I believe from the Rangers are from first place, which Astros where Astros are sitting. So it's crazy how just things can change just like that. Okay, speaking of baseball, um, any other surprisers that you expect for the rest of the season? Now we are in the month of September. It is crazy. I hope you all got, I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, stayed safe out there. Um, you didn't do too much, did you, right? You're still Hell recovering no. from Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was My first day back at the gym was just today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's this blow-up doll. I wish they would bring it over here. It is so funny. Uh, he, uh, I'm kind of all over the place. But these people doing this fantasy, fantasy football, football league, if you are just now tuning in, they have this blow-up doll because you said they were in it was last. His, yeah, so the guy that got last place in this league uh, that we're sitting over here at Christian's tailgate. From uh, last season. From right? last season. His yeah. date tonight for his draft was a blow-up doll. So, I um, love it. Awesome. Speaking hey, of. maybe that's who one of your friends took to get married in Vegas. No, no. I got. Doll. It was. It was. Uh, uh, oh my goodness! Yeah, it was. <laughs> I can't believe that. That I just I cannot get over uh, that, Jeff. I, you know, I mean, that is just. It doesn't surprise wow. me. <laughs> like, like, and these are guys I didn't I've know known. people still did that. I thought it was yeah. a movie thing. It was like iconic thing from back in the day. I didn't. You know, the wedding chapels. You see. Okay. Anyways, continue on with your. <laughs> so what uh, you're saying is you're not. You wouldn't go do the little white chapel or whatever, Elvis. You wouldn't dress up. Go get married a, in Vegas. Like if you knew the person. Let's say if you knew the person. What if, if I was already married, I'd do it like as a funny oh, thing. Oh, like a renew your vow. <laughs> no, not even that. Just like a funny kind of thing. But, All hey, right. not in that situation. So we'll let, see. Let, let's keep it rolling. We'll see. All right, wild card we'll race. See. We'll see. Uh, wild card race in the National League is absolutely fantastic as well. We were talking about the AL East with the Astros, Mariners, Rangers. The National League wild card race. Chicago Cubs up three and a half games. Philadelphia up five for the two spots. The last spot, though, the Miami Marlins, the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Cincinnati Reds, all a half of game separation for the last spot in the National League playoffs. Six and four in the last ten Philadelphia, seven and three Chicago, and seven and three the Miami Marlins, all playing very good baseball. Baseball is, is literally in September. We Look, we're, I know it's Thursday. I know it's NFL kickoff, and we're going to get back to that here in a second, but Baseball right now is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And as a whole, over the whole season, the very beginning of the year, we were skeptical about all these new rule changes. Everybody, including myself, pitch clock, the bigger bases. I still everything. am. <laughs> but the numbers are outrageous. They're almost up 10%. They're up, their numbers are up better than they've been since, I think, 1988. Wow. Which is unbelievable. Before I was born. So, uh, and, and you and I have attended a couple of games this year. And, and I, I don't mind the two-and-a-half-hour games. I don't. Now, that being said, the pitch clock in the playoffs, that's, we'll see how bad that gets. Like, I, I don't know how that's going to go. But uh, baseball as a whole is booming right now. Even though NFL's kicking off tonight, and we know NFL's king, baseball's booming. Get ready for September playoffs. But the race to the playoffs right now is very, very interesting. I love it. Yeah, no, absolutely. It definitely is. Um, but speaking of other sports that are kicking off right now to the NFL, but college football Ooh. as well <laughs> i mean saturday y'all tuscaloosa here Ooh we go we got a, a rematch with quinn ewers and alabama but this time it is of course is not in austin once again it's in alabama 6 p.m saturday i'm so excited for this matchup are you jeff I am. I'm nervous. I, I'm a UT fan. I went there for a year. I, I like. I lived in Austin for three years. I like the city. I like UT. You can't help but get involved. But uh, hey, can you bring that doll over here? We need to get you in the show. So I think we're gonna try to get this. To, yeah, come on. Yes, we're gonna try please. To get, <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna try to get this fantasy football guy in here. Uh, <laughs> guys, guys, here's the fantasy football, and here we, we go. We were just talking about fantasy so football. We'll you, get back to it. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Last place, we're huh? bringing in. No, no, All right. Place. You got first place, no, no. and this was your prize? It's a real reward. Yes. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. What's your name? Can you speak in here? Yes. I'm Dustin Calhoun. Dustin Calhoun. Dustin Calhoun. Were, the, were you the born league? at U of H or something? What's the league's name? 
It's um, it's our work league, so network realty. Net whoa, 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 whoa. Work league, and this is what you're giving him when you win? <laughs> you work with these people? It's a respectable company. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I, I Absolutely promise. love it. Yeah, man. Okay, <laughs> this is great. This is great. All right, Look, so do you have to take this with you to every game y'all watch together? How does it work? Every bar we go to tonight, I have to take her. There you go. Her name is Katie. <laughs> Very lovely woman. <laughs> How long have you known Katie? Love it. Um, it's been about two hours. <laughs> two hours now. <laughs> don't, don't go to Vegas with my group. Uh, you'll end up marrying yeah, you'll Katie. Yeah, uh, you'll end up marrying Katie. You'll end up marrying Katie. Okay, okay. Well, we appreciate it, man. And well, good luck this year. It. Good, good luck. luck. Good Best luck. Best of luck, guys. Good luck to you guys. <laughs> who you guys got tonight? Kansas? Uh, Kansas City Detroit. or Detroit? All right. They're all taking right. KC. I'm riding with All KC. I'm, I'm riding, riding with y'all. I'm going the under. I don't care. I'm all going right, under. All right. Jeff's against us. No, How no. funny is that? That's oh awesome. Oh, my gosh. That is great. Yeah. Thank you, Dustin. Absolutely Thank you. Absolutely love it. Katie. Y'all are great. <coughs> All right, thank you, thank you, Katie. You think the blow up doll? I said thank you, Dustin. And then thank, thank you, Katie, Katie, the blow up doll. All right. Hey, Katie gave us some entertainment. Uh, yeah, uh, look, man. She did. Good job, she did. Katie. She, did. Good she job. did her job. All right, so we got, like I said, UT in Alabama, rematch of last season. Bama took it in the fourth quarter. They won 20 to 19. It's a rematch. Quinn Ewers was out in the first quarter. I said it was a cheap shot. A lot of Bama lovers said no, it was just a tackle. I don't think it needed to be that tough. I think it was cheap, going straight for him. Yeah. That's a personal feeling. Jeff, what are your thoughts surrounding this game? Alabama minus seven all day. Oh. I, I hate it. I, look, I, I, I hate to say it, but, man, it's in Tuscaloosa. And, in fact, the the line being Alabama minus seven, just take give me the money line with Alabama. Mm. Uh, that's not a lot. I, I just – it's that's in – if, it's if this was in, in Austin – I would I would probably have some reservation and be like, man, that, last give me. year it was. Well, yeah, did no, you have Austin to. last year? Did I have Texas last yeah, year? No, Texas. I didn't bet. I didn't bet that game because I didn't I didn't know what Quinn Ewers was about. But Quinn Ewers versus Rice, he only looked good in about the third quarter, mm -hmm. right? He's gonna have to play a lot better against this Alabama defense and this Alabama team. They're fantastic. They're huge. Their line, their offensive I, linemen are huge. So I, I just their defensive linemen are huge. If it was in Austin, I would take Texas plus seven, but it's in Tuscaloosa. Give me, give me money line Alabama, or if I just a little risky, I take, I take Alabama minus seven. I, I'm not, I'm not really sure if it's that big of a knock on Texas. Keep the game close and have fun, but if Texas gets worn out this game, you're gonna have a lot of talk about Steve Sarkeesian. I was just about to go there. It's gonna fall back onto the coach, and he said in general a couple weeks ago. I think he came out in an article said I have a lot to prove to me. Yep. I took this job, and I got to prove what I'm worth. So it is going to fall back a lot on him. This is what, season two? Season three. Yeah, season three. And there's a, season three. There's, okay. a, uh, there's a QB named Manning. Yeah. He's waiting there. So he is. Uh, you're gonna, he if, is. if Quinn Ewers can't put it together, you are going to have some – some Manning banners and Manning signs go. And by the way, college game day is going to be there in Tuscaloosa. That's going to be a great atmosphere. I wish we were going, but I want to ask you, speaking of going some places, are you going to meet Messi? I wish. Do you, aren't you doing like, so if we, if the dynamo make the playoffs, then we have to go to Miami. No, 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 they are. They are playing September 25th. 27th. Oh, is it in September Miami, though? September 27th in Miami. Ugh. That's where the Open Cup is going to be. Are they flying be. you down there? Are you going down? You know, I would love you. Houston Dynamo FC, please take me with you. <laughs> I would love that. Well, no, if they I come here, uh, we're, we're, I'm, I'm going to that. I, I want to no, go. No, it's, it's in Miami. It's already set. Date is set. Uh, you know, you got to go see Messi there. The other big college football game of the weekend, and then we'll get back to the, the mainstay of Kansas City and Detroit, which we're watching the pregame warm-ups right now. Unbelievable. Big college game is Colorado Buffaloes and Nebraska. Oh, yeah. We've got it. This is in Boulder, and we've got to see what's going on with Dion against – I'm not knocking Colorado. I think it was absolutely fantastic, and what he's done so far is absolutely fantastic. But I knew nothing about that TCU team. They they could finish with with two wins or three wins on the season. That win that Colorado win doesn't look that great. They TCU looked terrible, but they were they put up a lot of points on that Colorado defense. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how this game's going to go. It's in Boulder. We know that place will probably break all kinds of records for attendance. Uh, like it, it's going to be phenomenal. It's more expensive to get into the Colorado Buffalo Nebraska game than it is tonight's Kansas City Chief and Detroit game.
That's I know, unbelievable. I, I heard some comparisons as far as the college football like games this weekend and that being bigger than NFL. Yeah, it is. That 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 game and that's the Dion effect that you get right there. Yep, so literally um, he's right up there on the screen. I, I, as look, I'm 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 riding the Buffalo train. I'm in. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's great. I just, uh, let's keep it rolling. Let's see what happens with Dion. Yep. Uh, I'm, and already, look, I know I know. Uh, uh, Kevin's already, Kevin Anthony's already said, uh, go Cowboys. But have you seen the rumors already? And they've already asked him, would you coach the Dallas Cowboys? And I'm like, golly, like, you can't, like, are you kidding me? Ah, Cowboys, I think, I think anyone other than Mike McCarthy that they might be happy with, look, Dak Prescott, <laughs> that is what is going to be surrounding any issues they have in Dallas. It's all going to be pointed back to him. Man, it he, is. He better win Sunday. It is. He better. Oh, I think they on Monday night. Is that Monday night game or no? That's I got. I, I, I got to look. Speed okay, so I want to go through not every single one of the games, um, but Dallas. I want to see when they're playing, when their schedule is. But I do have some questions for you. Let's go. I'm, okay. I, I'm ready. Uh, real quick, want to say thank you to our boy, uh, West Dunn, over there, Weston Construction Group. You guys looking to get your fence done, your roof looked at, free roof inspections, free fence quotes, free everything. Give Wes a call, 832-534-2374, or go to westincg.com. That's W-E-S-T-I-N-C-G.com. Ask for Wes Dunn. Uh, he'll take care of you, you guys. He's awesome. So go visit him over there. All right, what we got? I love it. I love it. All right. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We got Dallas, which I believe they are playing Sunday night against the Giants, yeah. um, and that is in New York. But Monday night you were asking, and that was one of my biggest questions where I was going to start, is right. what is – what are you looking forward to most seeing? And I'll give you some scenarios this coming season and the start to the season that is. Starting with Aaron Rodgers' debut. J-E-T-S, Jets, And that's Jets, at Jets. home. Yep. Bills are traveling at home. So well, I got I to gotta say. Not traveling too far. <laughs> one's in New Jersey, one's in New York. They're not too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, okay, so here we go. Most, most surprised Our looking Buffalo. forward to, Jeff. You got Aaron Rodgers' debut with the Jets. Joe Burrow seeing him after his calf strain. The Cowboys versus the Giants, how they are going to play. Jimmy G in Arizona. Denver with Russ. And do you think Bill Belichick, this will be his last season? What are you looking forward to most seeing? Wow. Um, Cowboys lose? Ah, of course. <laughs> well, okay. And, and look, this, this I'm, I'm not, I'm, if you watch the show. That is so you, <laughs> typical. No, I know. So I'm going to explain myself too, though, because it's not just because the Cowboys and I'm not the biggest Cowboy fan in the world. That's not That's not what I'm saying. I asked that. you, what are you looking for most to it? And you said seeing the Cowboys lose. Because really? it's content. If the Cowboys lose <laughs> their first game, you already are going to hear the rumblings. You've got Mike McCarthy calling plays for the Dallas Cowboys this year. What? And Dak Prescott just put out yesterday, remember the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'm more confident in this uh, than this offense than I've ever been. Oh, dude, why? Why did you say that? That's not a dumb if thing he, to say. It's two, who it's saying. Uh, yeah. If he throws two picks and they lose that first game, oh, my goodness. And for us, look, I am in the business of content. The Cowboys losing is massive content. That is that, all uh, Jeff, 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 that is not massive content. That is normalcy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shots Sorry. fired. Sorry. Shots fired. Uh, other than that, yes, I, I do want to see the New York Jets. I, I, I'm interested. I, I want to see if the hype is real. It's sort of like we just talked about Colorado Buffaloes. It's almost that kind of like hype where you're you're just waiting to see if the, if, this, then, if Aaron can put it together. And then on the other side of that, you have Jordan Love over in Green Bay to see, okay, how is this kid going to perform? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's going to be a fun NFL season. There's storylines galore. Where, look, Tom Brady retired. There's no more Peyton Manning. All the old quarterbacks, Drew Brees, all those guys, they're, they're gone. Pay and it's, it's all these young Sean guys coming Payton, in. Sean Payton, can you get it together for, for Denver? The That's oldest quarterback is who we – like, the oldest quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. Then you have Matt Stafford, uh, Ryan Tannehill, Kirk Cousins, who played good. Even Derek Carr's up there at 34. Russell Wilson, by the way, that's a storyline, too. I, I made a hot take today, said that Russell Wilson will be benched by week eight. I totally thought you said another B word. Um, <laughs> well, did you see what Sean Payton said about him yesterday? No. What did he say? 
He said something. To, let me see if I can pull up this quote. Something about stop, stop talking to people like about their babies or something, and like act like a man. Like it, I just, or stop acting like uh, you're trying to protect your public image. It was, it was something to that effect. And Sean Payton is a no nonsense guy, and and Russell Wilson's just. I think he's too nice to play the position. <laughs> he doesn't have that get up and go anymore. Russell Wilson, yeah. let's ride. Yeah, he, okay. he just doesn't have that, uh, you know, oh, I'm going to go get him. Somebody, Kevin Anthony, uh, you're watching the show. What was it that Sean Payton told him? So I'll try to look it up. Looking at uh, the Sunday lineup, because obviously we got tonight, and then we go to Sunday strictly starting at noon. Panthers at Falcons, uh, not too sexy. We got Texans at Ravens, Bengals at Browns, which I want to see Joe Burrow. Um, I want to see Says he's healthy. starting yep. for Browns. Um, uh, Oh yeah, so Browns. so Sean Payton told him quit kissing babies. That's what that's, that's what he told Russell Wilson. Uh, and if he's already what does that mean? If he's already like I said a minute ago, he said quit kissing babies and stop trying to protect your image. Like he's 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 literally just being a real soft. Like oh my gosh, no, he needs to be a quarterback for an NFL team. And if Sean Payton is already jumping down Russell Wilson like this, if they lose a few games. I can totally see him saying, I'm done. Quit kissing babies. Yeah. Stop being a sissy. He's a dad. Yeah. He's just, a dad. Yeah, just saying Russell Wilson uh, might not be cut out for it anymore. And uh, I just said, what is he, 34 years old? You got all these youngsters, Justin Fields, Stroud, Young, Purdy. Hey, 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 hey. Lawrence. You say Justin, I see Justin Herbert, and I... I'm ready to see this kid explode. Yeah, I, am I am ready to see this kid. They got a tough game. Jags at Colts, Bucks at Vikings, Kirk Cousins, there you go. Uh, Titans at Saints. I think that'll be a uh, that'll kind of be a snoozer, right? Um, <laughs> we got 49ers at Steelers, Cardinals at Commanders. Are they still keeping that name? I guess so. Uh, we got the Packers at the Bears, Raiders at Broncos, which I think will be a very good matchup. Are you waiting matchup. to say your team at the very end? Is that what you're waiting my on? My team. <laughs> my team. It's the biggest spread in the entire weekend. All right. We got Dolphins at Chargers, Eagles at Pats, Rams and uh, Seattle with the Seahawks, the Cowboys at the Giants. And then, like I said, Monday night is that Bills at the Oh, yours the is Jets. all the way back at the top. I was talking about the Houston Texans. Oh, I already who, mentioned that. Oh, did you? Yeah, they had yeah, the biggest yeah. spread of the weekend. Right now it's at Baltimore minus nine and a half. It's in Baltimore, which is bigger. This is shocking, which is bigger than the Cardinals at the Washington Commanders spread, which the Commanders are only minus seven. I get it. Lamar Jackson, Baltimore. But – is this indicative? I was going to say, Look, why is that shocking? Houston Texans cheerleader. You went to U of H. You're a massive Texans fan and a University of Houston fan. <laughs> Do you think Baltimore minus nine is a fair spread for this rookie team? Um, rookie coach, rookie quarterback, rookie defensive end. Considering, I mean, it is crazy to say that when Ravens are at home. They do have that going for them in addition to their weapons. I do think that the Texans will surprise some people. Um, therefore, it is, but it is a rookie team. It yep. is a rookie team. So that's a good question, Jeff. Nine and a half, I, that's a lot in the NFL. That is a lot of points. I just With that's the Texas question. offensive line, they've got the center out, their right guards out, I think their left guards out. They have massive issues. Yeah, Titus Howard, that I, came out I yesterday. I probably won't take that game, the Texans game. Just because nine and a half in the NFL is a lot of points. But, look, there's a bunch of games on here I really, really like. I love – you're getting points with Miami in, in uh, the Chargers. Look, we haven't seen a super explosive season from – from Lamar Jackson in a in a while. Been hurt a few times, you know. And this is a, this is a a contract year. I was gonna say he did just get paid for this contract. He fought for it. He you know he wasn't gonna come back. If yeah, you remember well, his that first this year off on the season. new contract, yep. Yeah. And and now he is. And so I think you know he's got to prove that contract himself if he wants to keep playing. Lamar. I don't know. We'll, I, we'll just see. We'll we'll see. <sighs> I, I, look, we are thirty minutes away. From kickoff on a Thursday night NFL, uh, we're sitting over here at Christian's tailgate. Look, if you guys can get out, get to one of their four Houston locations. It is unbelievable. The bars are packed. There's people back here. We're having a great time already. The food is phenomenal. Come get some hot wings. Come get a hamburger. Get a drink. It's Thursday night football. Sports with balls. Jeff Michael, Lauren Leo. Thank you guys for joining us. And by the way, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Twitch, you're on Facebook, please like, share the show, follow Sports with Balls page. Uh, doing fantastic. So we appreciate all of you guys. 
guys doing that. Also, Hobuzz, if you guys don't drink alcohol, go to hobuzzco.com. This is a THC-infused seltzer, and it's actually very, very good. I've had one. My mom's had one. Uh, it, it's, it's great stuff. It really is. And, uh, look, you can still have a good time and uh, not get drunk. Yeah, um, all great, all great things here. Now I got to go to our comments and Kevin Anthony saying we we're coming off the Texans versus Ravens game on Sunday. D'Amico better go out there and suit up. What's that about? What's that about? Um, he always he always is looking good. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh no, he's saying he better suit up and go play because the Texans defense probably get ran over. They need they they'll probably he need D'Amico. He knows Ryan's. how to work his defense. That's I mean that's what he's known for. That's what he came from when he did in San Francisco. We'll the so, Texans, they've got a long way to go. I'll tell you that much. That, that's, my, that's my Texans comment. They, they do. they got a long way to go. They do, and then they go. will be back home next weekend to play. You know, they have a very back-and-forth season. Back-and-forth season. All right, let's get back to tonight's action. The Lions take on the Kansas City Chiefs right now. The Lions hit sits at Kansas City minus four. We got a whole table of gentlemen over here that are taking KC minus four. I'm on the under. It's 53 and a half. I like the under because, as we heard right before this show started, Travis Kelsey is out for the first time since 2014. So if you own Travis Kelsey in your fantasy football team, I'm sorry. If you're playing against Pat Mahomes and or Travis Kelsey, uh, things are looking up for you. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a rough, rough game, I think, for the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, how it's many gonna times? It's going to be a testing game but yeah. then right at the starting of the season. How many times uh, has Pat Mahomes been on the field? When Travis Kelsey has not, mm -hmm. he he draws so much attention. He look last year didn't he have he had three or four games with two plus touchdowns. He had one game with four touchdowns. So it, this is going to be interesting. Let me just uh, let me just air out these quotes because I said at the beginning of the I said at the beginning of the show here tonight at SWB the difference with Kelsey on the field versus Kelsey off the field and what Patrick Mahomes does versus doesn't do explosive plays, uh, dropbacks and just attempts through the air. So it is it much shorter passes, 6.2 air yards per attempt versus 8.3 when Kelsey is on the field. You have 8.2% of dropbacks versus 10.1%, and then thrown for touchdowns less often, 5% 5, 5 of attempts versus 6.6%. This is all from CBS Sports Huge. calculations. These are it's, <laughs> it's big. It's a lot. It's a big difference. And you got to understand – that he had Tyreek Hill and some incredible wide receivers doing a lot of those years, mm -hmm. right? These are his wide receivers tonight. Sky Moore, Marquez Valdez-Scantley, and Kadarius Toney. That's your wide receivers. Those are all not top-tier wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Not even close. So when you take the number one tight end away from the number one offense and the number one quarterback, I believe you're going to have issues. Mm-hmm. And this just happened. Remember, he just got hurt on Tuesday. So they've been planning for him to be in this game. they got to come up with an entire new game plan Wednesday and Thursday. That's it. I well, mean, look, like, look, look. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. is it, what, is, Kelsey's been there for how long? And how long have they had these other guys, Jeff? So, you know, they can just pop in there and go back to something they've done before. Maybe they've tried in the offseason or, or a spring training. You never know. I think that they do have plans in place. That's just... Obviously, it's the star duo. Noah Mahomes Gray. Kelsey. Noah Gray, the 240-pounder from Duke, is now your starting tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure he's a popular pickup of fantasy, but I wouldn't trust any of that. I, I, I don't know. It, it's interesting. I, I like the under for all these facts. I love the under. But the, what I love more is that when we get off air here in a minute, I get to go home and jam out to some <laughs> Football. That's it, right. It's NBC, right? Isn't what's her name? Is Carrie Underwood doing it? No, she does Sunday night. Sunday or Monday night. night. Monday night. She does. Man. She does Sunday or Monday night. I uh, see her in those legs. Well, oh my gosh. ESPN <laughs> just came out and reported it's Texas better than Katie's the blow up doll. <laughs> you like? You Katie. heard her feelings. Hey, look, Katie had some some melons. Right? Hey, you brought Katie over here. Why are we talking about a blow-up doll? Blow-up doll? This is sports with balls. We're talking about blow-up dolls. What a Jason! What's up, Jay? What up? What do you think? One to ten, how was Katie? <laughs> One to ten. Uh, she's solid eight. Solid she's eight? Solid Whoa! Eight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. This is you great. Go. If you did not see it, uh, if you're listening to us, just please go look at us on Facebook, there YouTube. You, go. you got it, and you can see Katie. Uh, breaking news right now. Texas Supreme Court denies Cowboys owner Jerry Jones appeal and sexual assault lawsuit. All right. 
I didn't even know there was one going on, but uh, yeah. thank you, ESPN. Has that guy, look, and, and there's probably tons of court cases we don't know about. I bet he's in court, all like, he, he goes to court once a year, at least, for something. Like, somebody's suing him all the time. John Gruden, we have never heard back from. All I got to yeah, say. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yeah. He, I've he never won seen his battles. anything. Well, the NFL just, you know, shuts Keeps it up it real, real quiet. Yeah, John Gruden, you I believe, dig. is actually coaching right now um, as College? an assistant. No, as an uh, assistant somewhere. I'll, I'll have to look that up. Wow, wowzers. Um, Jason. Wowzers. <laughs> Get on it. What about oh, Jason? What about Jason? Man. What about Jason? So, Jason, you're having a good time. Yeah, Jason, what's going on with you? Not much. Just How was your band? Your band played this past weekend, right? Uh, No, it was two weeks ago. Uh, oh, you went out of town. Yeah, I was. At, I went to New Orleans. That's right. This past I saw weekend. Jason at a yeah. Dynamo game. Oh, yeah, we went to oh, the, I was at the Dynamo. My friend gave me some Dynamo tickets. What would you think? You had fun? Yeah, it was fun. And we you know, won two nothing. So. We won two nothing. I was gonna come over and say hi to you after I did my like interview with the man on the match, but I think you were gone. Yeah, I think, I, I think we had already bounced. And by you then. came to a very low attending game. Yeah, it was still fun. I had a blast. Good. Yeah, it's good, interesting good, you good. say that because I wonder. I, I wondered how the messy thing. Look, and it's not gonna take full effect. There's a bunch of kids now, like that are playing soccer. So ten years from now, it, it'll, you'll probably see the, the bigger effect of Messi coming over. Oh yeah, over. yeah. But You're seeing the effect now from five years ago. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just gonna grow. And when Absolutely. when my like eventually when pickleball? Miami does come to town, mm -hmm. it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I, I hope they be do. Packed. When it does next season. All right, guys, got to thank a couple of people. WestonCG.com. West Dunn over there. Give them a call, 832-534-2374. Get your fence quote. Get your roof quote. Any exterior stuff done, call West Dunn, 832-534-2374, or go to WestonCG.com. Uh, we talked about Hobas, obviously, Christian's tailgate, where we're at right now, where we're about to watch the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs, minus – one Travis Kelsey. All Kevin right. Anthony says Gruden is a consultant for the Saints. There you go. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, I, he would go where Derek Carr is. Dude, I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Kevin is our unofficial uh, what what like, you're like stat an finder. Insider. Yeah, unofficial yeah, like stat you, finder. You give us whenever like you're in our ear whenever we're like. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Kevin Anthony. The numbers. Thank you. Thank you. Hope he wins his bets tonight. But uh, speaking of betting tonight, Lauren is taking the Kansas City Chiefs minus the four. I'm taking the under 53 and a half. Jason, uh, you like Detroit? You like Kansas City? Where are you going? Kansas City. Kansas yeah. City. Man. Yeah. I, Over. Got, that's interesting, man. Like, Over. I, I'm, sh I'm shocked that y'all are taking this, but hey, look. They're at home. They're the defending champs. They've been to, what, how many Super Bowls now? Back to back to back? So Two. Uh, they lost one, one, one. Okay. So here, right before we get off air, question. NFL starts 20 minutes from now. Who wins the Super Bowl? Oh, gosh. Let's go. Uh, is Kelsey injuries play a huge factor yep. in this? Yep. <laughs> the Jets. Oh, my Jets. God. Where are you at? Bills. Bills. Woo. Who were supposed to win last year. Awesome. I like the pick. I like Because you, know, you want to know why I like that? Because it's quiet this year about the Bills. Mm, it's very quiet. Very quiet. I think they're going to break year, out. Yeah, last year was just nonstop Bills, 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 Bills. All right, Jason, Super Bowl winner. I'm going to say Kansas City. Kansas City okay. Chiefs. Staying safe. And Jeff Michael. San Francisco 49ers what? over the Cincinnati Bengals in a rematch in the Super Bowl. That would be Brock fantastic. Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy. Well, I mean, who knows if he's going to make it through the season, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> oh, my San word. San Francisco has issues with uh, quarterbacks. But Kyle Shanahan, Christian McCaffrey is going to be the MVP. Uh, man, we'll see. Look, guys, good luck in your fantasy football leagues. Don't lose. You saw what happens when you do. And good luck on your betting wagers tonight. Go to Sports With Balls on every single one of your social media platforms. Give us a follow. Give us a shout. We'll follow you back. We'll answer as many questions as we can. And uh, we'll be back Monday following all the games this weekend. College, NFL, football's back. I love it. I love it. Thank Here you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Woo! I'm Jeff Michaels. She's Lauren Leal. We'll see you guys next